Hi there, Jeffrey Rhodes from Experimental Homestead or Exotic Gardening and SherryAnnRichardson.com. Please subscribe, hit that join button, join our membership. Uh, well, I am beat. Um, spent most of the day out in the barn uh, trying to do spring cleaning in the uh, goat stall. Um, trying to dig it all out. Uh, was transporting it up to our compost bin and out onto the big garden a little bit. Um, was using the uh, lawnmower and a, a little trailer, um, and it was working okay. Uh, tried to do a little bit of lawn mowing with the lawnmower, and I stripped out a, pul a pulley on the mower deck again. So my mower is down again um what else is new <laughs> so i may be push mowing the rest of the yard um which i'm not real happy about that it's idea only but a little bigger than mother's uh, if you subtract all of the garden areas and the pasture areas yeah it's 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 i still think it's a lot bigger than you can do it Oh, I know I can do it. I just don't really want to do it. <laughs> but, you know, things happen. Um, the goat stall is, is better. Uh, I didn't finish it, but it's... it's um, Most of the, the wasted hay uh, is out of there. Um, they really did waste quite a bit of hay over the winter. Um, and uh, there was a pretty good uh, thickness of uh, wasted hay. Um, and, uh, but, uh, you know, it's better. Um, I managed to get the stuff moved and cleaned out enough where uh, we can open both doors to the stall uh, a lot easier. Um, that was one of our big issues recently has been uh, being able to get the the door open to the stall to uh, get Bailey's out and get her on the milk stand so that we could feed her. Um, they they were pushing the hay up against the door and making it almost impossible to open. Um, they were doing the same thing to the outside door, uh, making it where it was very difficult to get it open. Um, you know, on nice days, I was able to open it just a little bit, let them get out, um, but it wasn't, it wasn't open very far. Um, and for the cleaning, I really had to, to work to get it open enough that I could actually get in and out of the, the barn uh, with the, uh, the waste product. Um, so that took me a little bit of time to get situated. But, uh, I'm and watching I, bacon seeds be born. Okay. I, uh, added to my sunburn from yesterday. So, uh, oh, the guy's in the barn. basically, I burnt my forearms and my uh, face a little bit, painting my forehead. Um, but, I mean, this is what happens every spring. Um, uh, I start getting out in the sun and start getting the sunburn. Uh, it'll eventually darken and uh, it'll eventually get a lot better. Although still part of the time I'll get out in the sun and wind up getting a really nasty sunburn. <laughs> so, but this one's not bad. Um, Not looking forward to, uh, excuse me, going back to work tomorrow. Uh, the weekend definitely was not long enough. And, uh, I just, you know, worn out. Um, still having some foot problems. My, uh, heels, uh, have been aching really badly. Um, I did change out shoes today. Uh, put an old pair on, and uh, my feet don't hurt quite as bad. So I think the uh, the shoes that I have currently are part of the problem. Um, 
the the uh, the heels I think have just worn out. Um, they don't they're not cushioning like they uh, were initially. They're also a narrow uh, rather than a wide shoe, and I think the pressure uh, on the sides of my feet um, are contributing to the uh, the pain in the heel. So, but. Uh, you know, tonight my left foot isn't bad. It's not hurt too bad. Right foot is still bothersome, but it's not as bad as it's been. So maybe things are looking up. But, uh, oh, busy, busy, busy. So, uh, I think that's going to do it for tonight. So, like I said before, please subscribe. Uh, give us thumbs up, thumbs down, comments below. We will see everybody tomorrow. Stay safe out there.